everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Energon Igniter's Power Plus series Ironhide from Transformers Bumblebee. Now if you've seen the movie, you're probably very familiar with the fact that Ironhide did not appear. Uh, but basically my understanding, at least my guess, if you take a look on the side here, it very much looks like the Ironhide from the first movie, 2007 movie. So I'm kind of guessing it's an imagining of that character, what he would look like if he was present on Earth in the 80s. Got kind of a cool red pickup truck going on here. Does come with the Energon Igniter core featured there on the side. Taking a look on the back of the packaging, red pickup truck definitely has that signature Gatling gun that he's known for in the movie verse. Seven steps transformation here on the side. Let's go ahead and we'll get Ironhide out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. Here he is out of the packaging. Take a quick look at his Energon Igniter core. Kind of basic, definitely not as much fun as Soundwaves was, but it serves its purpose. We'll put that off to the side for now. Uh, but taking a close-up look at Ironhide, I really like this one quite a bit. I feel like the legs have a lot of clearance. They don't just look like a block. If you turn them around to the back, he doesn't have a ton of kibble. He's got his big cannons kind of hidden back here, and you'll see how they work a little bit later. He's actually got heels. He can stand up very nicely, doesn't fall over at all. Nice silver painting here in the shins and the feet area. I like that head sculpt. It's not perfect. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. But the eyes are nice blue. Nice silver there for the face. I like him a lot. Uh, he's got ball joints here in the shoulders. So kind of limited because of just, you know, how big the shoulders themselves are. But you can definitely get... The movement all the way around and then you get a little bit out to the side movement you get slightly more than 90 degrees in the elbow you can see he's got a cannon for this arm he's got a normal fist for this arm so he could hold a weapon there if you have a weapon from another uh, figure and legs just kind of go out to the side you can't go forward or back you do have a waist swivel but that's really for transformation um yeah but i like him i think he's cool I like the red, the black, and the silver. That color scheme looks great. The blue eyes pop against the red and the black. I think that all works really well. And uh, like I said, I just think the legs actually work well. They're split apart enough that you can tell they're legs. They have heels. Sure, they don't have a ton of articulation, but they look cool. I like them. I think he's a cool little dude. Let's go ahead and get into his transformation. All right, so the transformation is a little bit more complicated than you would expect, but not really complicated. Um, you're going to go ahead and push the legs together. And then you can see here that there's a tab on the inside of this leg. And then the little slot on this side, when you go ahead and fold the feet up, is what keeps the legs together. And that just kind of works perfectly, in my opinion. And I'm pushing these out. There we go. So that kind of holds that together. I think that works pretty well. Uh, next, you're going to kind of, let me zoom out a bit lift this up in the back and then you can spin the waist 180 degrees like that then you're going to lift this section up and you can see that there are tabs kind of right here and that's going to uh, sandwich these little tabs here they're just going to kind of slide down in there and that's what keeps them together so they don't really peg in they kind of slide in between two pieces of plastic but it holds very well then you're going to just kind of straighten out the arms here and bring these down. And then you'll see that there is a little spot right there that these tabs on here will peg into. So bring this down, peg that in, bring this down, peg that in. And there you go. There is the truck mode. So I actually like the truck mode quite a bit. It kind of feels a little too long, but not incredibly too long. I think the proportions are pretty good. You have a nice Autobot symbol painted in silver there. Rolls very well. You can see you still have the gold feet sticking out of the back, but that doesn't really bother me. Two smokestacks there, which is pretty cool. Overall, I think it's a righteous little truck. And the way this works is you just go ahead and push these in, and that'll flip out the guns. So then you can see he's got the guns on the side, ready to do some damage. And they're actually painted kind of a nice... Uh, turquoisey blue color definitely like that but then this is open so you can go ahead and drop this in here just like that and I will zoom out so we can try this out 
there you go. I'll try it again. Works pretty well. Have that little uh, Energon Igniter play gimmick. And go ahead and push that out. And then if you just want to push these back down, and you'll see that the bed of the truck fills back in. So that's kind of neat. You can just push down with your thumb and flip out the cannons if you want. If you really wanted, you could flip out just one cannon. I think that's cool. I really think it's a decent little figure and has a good amount of play value for how cheap it is. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, I like this little vehicle mode quite a bit. So I think Iron Eye is actually pretty great. I love the little uh, stocky robot mode. He's got separate legs. He's actually got heels. He doesn't have a ton of kibble on his back. I feel like that's an acceptable amount for a robot mode. He's not a huge block like Soundwave was. Uh, great paint applications. Love the color scheme. Actually, pretty decent articulation. Shoulder, elbow, legs to a certain extent. Uh, but these figures are not really meant for like tons of articulation points. They're just kind of quick, easy to convert figures for kids to have fun with. And of course, you have the Energon Igniter gimmick, which I think is fun. I think it works well for him. Um, having the uh, little cannons uh, pop out in the vehicle mode. You technically could have them pop out in this mode too, but it just looks weird and doesn't really make any sense. But you could do it. But I think that's fun. I think there's a lot of play value here. I think uh, he just looks good. I, I have to admit he is a better figure than Soundwave in my opinion. Soundwave has a lot of nostalgic amazingness to him with the Energon core uh, looking like a little boombox and being that van with the sticker on the side and he's got a lot of good stuff going for him but if you're looking for just what looks like a better figure I have to give it to Ironhide here just so many good things going on so I definitely recommend them let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share <laughs> of course it doesn't want to stand up please like share comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thank you so much for watching